Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Suave here, and we got some things to talk about here, okay? So, we all remember the times that we had playing Call of Duty, how much we loved it, you know? I mean, do you remember COVID? Verdonsk? Do you remember that? Those times, just sitting there with your boys, we're up, hey, one more game, one more game, you know? One more game. Let's get one more in, man. We're having so much fun. One, we're having such a great time. And then, and then somebody says here in a few weeks, hey, COVID's going on. I'm off work for a week. Dude, let's stay up all night. And you're like, I'm back in high school again or middle school. Whenever it was you were playing Call of Duty, just nonstop. We're back. We're back, guys. And it's all yanked out from of us. Warzone is not the same. It's still fun. It's not, it's not terrible, but it, it's it's just not the same. We don't have Verdance. They did bring it back Rebirth. I went and played it. I was having a good time, but all my friends have already left. Most of them. There's still I still got a few of them. Still got a few of you guys going strong with me, man. Call of Duty is just fun. It's archaic. It's an archaic shooter game. It's you know it's kind of. Kind of mindless, kind of brainless. I mean, it, it is fun when you get to slide canceling. It's a movement. I have a good time on it, personally. I don't hate it. Um, it's not Tarkov, you know. Tarkov's amazing. Best game ever made. Escape from Tarkov. And that's what I like playing. But I do enjoy me some Call of Duty. I kind of bounce back and forth. I mean, I love Valorant. I mean, I'm a gamer, man. I love Valorant. I love... I mean, I like flipping CSGO skins. I don't really play it that much. But, you know, I mean, hey. It teach his own anyways but gaming is just not the same as is going to be the the segue into my next point microtransactions are just that's what's driving people away from games like call of duty and some people are getting drove away from tarkov with some of the skins that they're starting to add and some of the different ways you can pay the game to support the game i'm not totally against all that I think Tarkov's doing it just right. There's no pay to win. There's nothing like that. I think it's a good system. I think that you need to be able to fund the game, and you should fund the game that you enjoy playing. Um, you don't have to, of course, to play it, and that's the that's the point. If you got some extra coins, and you want to get a skin, and you want to do have something to show that you supported the game, I think that's totally fine. You know what I mean? But if you don't want to, play it for free, and you don't have to rock those you know skins and have these things that really don't matter in the end it's just kind of clout you know anyways so that's my segue into my point here is what is call of duty doing you know we have these bundles and most of them are fine and you know hey i, I buy a couple from here and there i usually go and do the packs you know where you get the free skins i already bought them all but you get the packs you get free skins you get some cod points and it costs like 20 bucks right i do that whenever i'm like oh there's something i want or if i'm playing and you know anyway so i do those but this is my well first first before i get into this this is these are really kind of cringe in themselves and they did these with the godzilla ones if you wanted the the fists these are kind of cringe themselves but you know i it it happens people got them anyways but like if you want this skin you have to buy both bundles right you see how there's a check here check here you got to get both of them and then you know then they have the oh we got to get both of these guys to get this guy so it's like okay i really don't care but because you're just getting a skin if you want to do that that's fine but this my main point of this video these guys are getting close to lawsuit like territory here this is this is crazy killer serial creep okay this guy is literally the exact you guys know i mean i'm not talking about the skin but this is like isn't this the riddler from the batman the batman movie it really looks just like him everything's the same glasses all jacket it's the riddler anyways but that's not my point. My point is this. Party skin bonus killer. So these are going to be, I guess, new skins that 
Activision Call of Duty is going to be releasing, and you're going to receive XP bonuses when you and your party plan on using killer skins. You get double XP and double weapon XP when you play together in parties of at least two. Get an additional double battle pass XP in parties of three or more. Well, what do you do if you don't got no friends? What do you do? I'm not buying this skin because I'm not going to get double XP unless I have somebody to play with. But if you do, let's say you've got a lot of friends that play Call of Duty. Hypothetically, maybe you're doing a lot better than I am in that regard. Okay, so you got like five friends, right? There's always that one extra. There's always one extra. You know, like, ah, I don't want to leave Billy out. I don't want to leave leave James out. You know, I don't really want to leave, leave Susie out either. I want us all to have a good time. But there's five of us, and we want to play Warzone. Somebody's getting left out. Well, now, now we got this problem. Now we got this problem. So little Susie, little Susie, her parents are tired of her running up the credit card. So she ain't getting no killer skins. Well, she's not getting in the group chat that is going to be talking about when we're going to be playing Call of Duty because we want that double battle pass XP, baby. We're leaving little Susie out because she don't have the killer skins. You know, Call of Duty, you guys want to put a stop to all this bullying. You know, you got we got all this political correctness going on here that you guys, you know, y'all are muting people's mics if they say something a little too egregious. You know, and I'm fine with all that. But now we are causing real world bullying here. Okay? Did you even think about this? What this is going to do to people? There are these people out here that only have so many friends. I'm not one of them because I only have, I think, three friends or four friends that play Call of Duty. I might I only have one other friend at any given time that plays Call of Duty when I'm playing Call of Duty. If I'm lucky, you know, because we all work. We work different hours, you know, and then we got kids. So sometimes we're too damn tired to get on this game, you know, and that was the problem. And I, this is a segue here, but that was the problem back in Verdansk. You know, you're, you know, you finally get off work, you get on, you want to play, and you're dying to hackers all game. And, hey, they got an anti-cheat, and it's getting better from what I hear. And when I play it, I really don't run into hackers a lot. Aim assist is wild, because I play mouse and keyboard, you know, but, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. Even, you can go watch Tifu's stance on that, and he'll let you know exactly what he thinks. And I agree 100% with Tifu. But I will tell you right now that... I do not know if anybody is going to come back to Call of Duty that's left. That I know. You know, like my friend group, they, they want to play Tarkov. Or, you know, everybody wants to play Tarkov. Everybody wants to play other games. I got one buddy that just wants to play Battlefield. Who the hell plays Battlefield? Why? Like, just can we all just come back and play some Warzone? Well, yeah, if we buy the creep killer skins and get the double double super xp home edition windows three party or more like it's a bad time it's a bad time for call of duty i i don't know i don't know what the answer is here but i will say that this is i wouldn't say it's shocking but you know what? I, I'd pro I'll probably buy it anyways. But, you know, because, I mean, yeah, whatever. You know, but... I don't know if anybody else will. So, what's the point? I mean, I like the Riddler. See, I love the artisticness that comes in some of these skins. I appreciate it. Okay? I like, oh, you know, you know I, I'll use my Battle Pass cod points that i got because i get the battle pass i'll use those to get to get the riddler this is the riddler from the batman love it love it super super cool that you guys creatively made something that's paying homage to that or maybe you guys are just jacking a copyright and renaming it i don't know one or the other but anyways point being it's still cool the problem is is 
I don't know. Who knows what other killers they'll bring? They might bring some other killers. They might bring, like, Ghostface. They might put, like, all of the Halloween skins in this killer category for when Halloween comes, you know? Now it's going to be all these double XP ghost faces running around. But, I mean, that's cool. I don't know if it's super cool, but I will say that I think this is, like, pretty close to being lawsuit territory. Pretty close. This is pay to win insanely. That's what this is. This is pay to win. I mean, I thought the DMZ packs were annoying. You know, oh, but get this, and then here, oh, now you got the, the UAV every time you come in and all that. And, I mean, and then they go away and do away with DMZ. And I honestly liked it. I thought it was half ass decent. But here we are. This is where we're at. I don't know what to think of COD anymore. What do you guys think of COD? Is it, is it, is it, is it done? Are we giving up on it? I mean, come on, dude. I mean, you know, you guys seen it, right? I know we seen it. There's a possibility we're getting Blackout 2 with the new Cold War. Let me see. I'll find it. Give me a second. Let me Google this. Give me a second. I will Google this. Where is it? I seen it the other day. Was it on X.com? Let's see here. Call of Duty Black Ops. There's a new Black Ops coming. Coming down the line, baby. Uh, let me mute this because I don't know what the hell is going up here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see here. Latest. I got to find this. I got to find it. Gulf War. Call of Duty Gulf War. I want to see if I can find an image. Gulf War. Gulf War. Is there a Call of Duty Gulf War image anywhere? I don't know. Well, anyways, there's going to be Gulf War, and they are rumored that Call of Duty Gulf War is going to be... Um, that, that Black Ops Gulf War is going to be have uh, Blackout 2, which would be cool. I'd be super down for that. Would love love some Blackout 2. I miss it. I miss Blackout. I miss the vibe. I miss building your gun. I miss the attachment aspect of it. I think that was way better than this whole loadout system that they keep shoving down our throats with Warzone. But, I mean, honestly, how many of you guys would return if they brought Verdance back? They bring Verdance back? How many of y'all coming back and playing for three weeks? And then, you know, they're doing some decent things like this event. This is cool, I guess, you know, but we're going to get this cool, like, skin and stuff, you know. I mean, I like, I love the animated skins that they brought in. This event looks cool. I need to get, I'll, I'll probably get on and grind it just for the gun skin. The gun skin's cool. They do some cool stuff. There, there's a lot of free content, but I, I don't know. The double XP thing? That man, come on, bro. What? What? You got friends to get double XP now? Fuck. What do I do when I'm by myself and everybody's at work? Just got to get the... The standard XP? I gotta play twice as long? Come on, Call of Duty. Come on. You're really hurting us working dads out here, man. Can't take it no more. 